Alright guys, so I've talked about these headphones, but I haven't really showed you guys the ease of use of them. So, you can maybe, maybe not hear um, my computer as well as, as well as my TV, but I've already paired them. It's really not difficult to pair it to your computer. Just hold this button down. It's already connected. And I get the best sound quality out of these headphones after pressing the equalizer button to the desired setting that I have with my laptop. The only time is like when it is with my laptop. Also, um, whenever I open Adobe Premiere Pro now, they are hardwired setted settings to my headphones. So if I open Adobe Premiere Pro and my headphones are not connected, it gets, stuff gets a little complicated. But yeah, so I'm gonna open Adobe Premiere Pro because I got a couple things that I gotta do on there. Basically, I'm just making a bunch of GIF sets um, to post and be more active on the tumblers. Uh, I don't think I made all of my GIFs of the clips that I clipped out. The reason why I go in Adobe Premiere Pro and clip out sections and seconds of movies, music videos, or whatever video that I'm creating GIF sets on for Tumblr or Wattpad. Like, people go to Tumblr to download GIFs for Wattpad for their fanfictions and whatever else. Um, the reason why I do it is because the importing time is a lot faster when you have just a short couple second video into Photoshop compared to Let's say you want to do a gift set on The Hobbit, or Lord of the Rings, or Star Wars. If you have the movie, somehow, you would need to move the arrows specifically to the scene that you want, and sometimes, sometimes you don't know how long that is, and you can't get it frame by frame, like you can if you went in Adobe Premiere clipped it out and then just imported it into Photoshop. So, yeah. So it just helps. And usually, when Adobe Photoshop, when you're trying to like clip it out from a super long video, like you have a two hour video, you're trying to get like one or two seconds, maybe five seconds of footage, it is going to take a very long processing time to get to it. But anyways, we're talking about these headphones, which I didn't talk about for a while. Um, these headphones, like I said, have the greatest sound quality with my computer and not with my tablet or my phone. I don't know why, but the best sound I've ever gotten out of them over these past like six or so years is with this computer specifically. I've used other headphones with other computers, um, but these ones are just, yeah, they just read the best with this, this beast. Um, other than that, as well. Also, you can control volume, but it doesn't always do it in the same increment. So if I do volume up on the headphones, it'll go up by five or seven on the laptop. And sometimes that's a lot, so I try not to do it like that. Um, I do get very immersed in my projects and my own thing when I'm video editing, creating GIFs, doing whatever. Um, and it helps having outside background noise to stimulate the part of my brain that gets distracted easily while also having something playing or to focus on in my headphones, if that makes sense. Um, 
But yeah, these also have really good battery life. I've never had an issue with, like, I edited for 12 plus hours one day, didn't charge my headphones, and then went again for another 12, 8, 12 hours the next day when I'm off from work and still not. And then day three, battery low. But I, I always try to keep on top of always charging all of my devices because I'm paranoid, so yeah, the battery life on these things, even though I've had them for years, is really good, and also it muffles the sound, so because I have small ears, these headphones actually go around my ear instead of pressing against my ear. That's another thing that I love about these headphones, and it just it comes with its own case, which is nice for travel and all that. And yeah, I mean, they were 35 bucks. I probably got them on sale, so they were probably even cheaper at that time. And yeah, these were one of my first big girl money. I had to drop for the first time my own money purchases. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would highly recommend if you're on a budget. So, and they don't look half bad, at least to me they don't. But yeah, I'll also show you guys how they fold up. Yeah, they're still on. So it's very compact, as you can see. So you can just take them anywhere. The case makes it a little bit bulky, but if you want to actually protect them, put them in the case. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!